I just want you to understand you're not the first person to fail. You're not the first person to come up short. You're not the first person to feel pain from letting yourself down. Pain from others letting you down. Pain from the sting of a relationship that didn't work out. Pain from the sting of a business venture that fell short. Pain from the sting of not getting good grades. Pain from the sting of not getting that job promotion. Pain from the sting of losing the lead in the championship game. I want you to understand that from pain comes progress. I love this quote from the hip hop artist D Smoke. He says, it's safe to say growth is an uncomfortable process and pain is a necessary investment for progress. It's powerful. But you hit a little bump in the road, setback, experience a little bit of turbulence. And you start hearing all those boo birds in your head. You start believing that you can't do it. It can never happen for me. Yes, it can. But you have to go through your go through. The late great Kobe Bryant taught us so much. He experienced so much turbulence and was able to bounce back. His rookie year, remember he came right out of high school, made it to the playoffs, playing against the Utah Jazz. Fourth quarter and an overtime, game on the line. He shot air ball after air ball. Four air balls in the fourth quarter and overtime and the critics came out. And you know he felt some type of way, he felt pain. Just like you feel pain when things are not going your way. But the difference between you and the late great Kobe Bryant is, he never quit. He never threw in the towel. What he did was he went back to the drawing board and he self-assessed and that's exactly what I need you to do. That pain is there to make you stronger. That pain is there to help you grow. That pain is there to teach lessons. Remember, we never lose. We only learn. And that's exactly what Kobe did. He learned from the situation. He went back and evaluated and realized he was tired. That's why he kept shooting air balls. And so he decided he was going to work twice as hard in the off season. And guess what? That situation never, ever happened again. So what you going to do, bro? What you going to do, sis? You cannot roar with the lions if you're purring with the kittens. So you want the success, but you want no parts of the struggle. You want the success, but you want no parts of the sacrifice. You want the greatness, but you want no parts of the grind. You want the abundance, but you want no parts of the agony. You want the fortune, but you want no parts of the failure. You want the riches, but you want no parts of the rejection. You want the championship, but you want no parts of the change. You want the prosperity, but you want no parts of the pain. Where they do that at? Like D Smoke said, pain is a necessary investment for progress. You gotta go through your storm to get to your sunshine. You just got to be strong enough to push through and power through until you achieve your major breakthrough. So don't be afraid to shoot your shot. More than likely, you're going to miss the first, the second, the third. Ain't no telling how many times you're going to miss. But in this lifetime, you can rebound and give yourself another shot to come back and win and that's what this is all about climbing over the hump pushing through the pain and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday this is a great day to win let's go